My name's Kathleen Casty and I work here in the Ulster Canal Stores Visitor Centre. Uh, we have a lovely arrangement of uh, lace here on site, some of it antique and vintage, some of it current, made by our local lace makers. My name is Elizabeth Daly, I'm chairperson of the Carrick Macross Lace Gallery. We're here in Market Square in our new lace gallery. It goes back to 1820s when Mrs Gray Porter from the parish of Dunamine, they were on holiday in Italy and while they were over there they saw lace being made over there. They took a good interest in it. They came back home with the materials that was available to them at the time. They worked it and worked around at it and eventually came up with what is now known as Carrick Macross lace. Clonus lace started in Clonus just after the famine. Cassandra Hand decided that she would help and she brought lace makers from Cork up to teach people to make lace. 1,500 people landed. That was the start of the cottage industry. It became an industry that lasted many, many years here in Clonus. We're very often asked this question, is it the same as Carrick Macross lace? They're totally different laces. Both of them are beautiful laces, but they're totally different. Our lace is appliqued, so it means that there are threads applied to materials, whereas our lace is completed by a hook and the hook in the 1800s would have been a very fine needle with a little turn on the top of it and it pushed into a little piece of wood. So they are two very different laces but it's lovely to think that in the small county of Monaghan that we actually have two famous laces. Moira Trainer runs the summer school here every year in the month of June. You can learn how to make our Clonus lace the big thing for us now is we need to pass on the lace to the younger people. So now we're in the position that we will be able to have workshops here. We're working hard towards that.